Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, this is going to be another about me video, but it's going to be a little bit different. Um, I was looking through a, 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 along with some other sources uh, through to see like if I could find any just topics to talk about in general, and I came across this list of 50 different interesting conversation topics to talk about. So... Since they're all pretty short, we're just going to be going through all 50 of them and answering each individual one under each category that they fall under as well. So, with that said, I'm not sure if the rest of the crew will be doing this separately as well, if Pink Fox and Aaron will be doing them on their own if they want to. If they choose to, they're more than welcome and we'll have that posted on here as well. But in the meantime, let's get started with uh, me responding to it today. Let's go. So, first category is hobbies, and the first question from that category is, what do you do in your free time? Um, what free time? <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's, there's, uh, yeah, yeah, there's, there's not much it's going on outside of me practicing for the different videos on the second day, the day job. Spending time with Pink Fox or Aaron, if not both. Um, which most of the time that just ends up being kind of practice for f future things anyway. Anyway, yeah, that, I don't really have a lot of free time where I do my own thing. It's, it's, I do a little bit, but not too much. Anyway, question two. Do you play any musical instruments? Yes, regardless of what I'm about to say, the answer is yes. One way or the other, I have always, since I was about six years old, I played the piano. I still do off and on, but not as much as I used to. Uh, before that, I played the violin, and during high school, it was trombone, baritone, a little bit of saxophone, but it was kind of just experimental. Same with the French horn. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I was a really big brass instrument person for some reason. Uh, let's see. Tuba, trumpet... I did do the piccolo for a little bit, and I did play the xylophone at a point, but for very short periods of time. And if you include this one, the voice. But some people count that as an instrument, some people don't. But if you do, that's another one. Now, question number three. Do you draw, paint, or do art? No. I, I get intrigued when other people do it, but I personally cannot. Simple as that one for that one. Question four. Do you like to do you like dancing? From me or other people? If it's from me, no. If it's from other people, yeah. <laughs> okay. Question five. Talk about technology, gadgets, card. Wow, that's not even a question. And I talk about that stuff all the time, so we're gonna skip that. Um, okay. Next category is work and or school. First question from that category is, what do you do or study? Um, there is something that I kind of study, kind of not. Um, that's something actually is off and on just kind of cultural things. And every now and then when I'm like looking up things to talk about, I'll kind of find random um, details about things that I didn't know of. I'll read into that. I'll be like, that was an interesting topic. So it's kind of just off and on topics. I don't really... The only things past that that I could say I've ever studied would be things that I've already finished. Um, question number two in that category. What is your most or least favorite subject in school? Well, I can give those. I can give those questions. Pink Fox, this is not asking you. It's yours. No, it's not. That's yours. No, history is my favorite. It said favorite. It said most oh, or yeah. least. Most or least. Those who can't hear it, math being uh, my most favorite and history being my least favorite. Now, if I can answer my own questions, please, you can answer yours when you get the chance, Pink Fox. Um, yeah, those two are the case. Mathematics have been kind of, it really depends on the math. Trigonometry, not so much. If it's something like Algebra 1, 2, those kind of things, sure, yeah, I actually really like those kind of concepts. Uh, which means, I guess, technically physics would be counted in that category as well. Uh, for mo like the top three, I guess you could say. 
Um, but when it comes to least favorites, if it has anything to do with history and anything to do with, um, oh my gosh, hiccups apparently. <laughs> if it has anything to do with history or um, governmental stuff, then those are all going to fall under least favorite. Uh, anyway, with that question answered, question number three of this category, how do you get along with the people you work with? Um, depends on what the question means by that. Uh, if it's saying, how do I do it, then just be myself. I just be my own derpy self that you guys see on this channel all the time. Um, but if it means like, how well do I get along? Like, do I get along with them? Uh, well, yes, I do. At least, as far as I know. Uh, anyway. Question four. <laughs> do you love working there, or are you doing it for the money? I actually do like working there. Um, I mean, I, there was a question that... So, my boss started doing like these conversational type things with each individual employee at a point not too long ago. One of the things that was brought up to me was, do you plan on sticking around if this channel ended up taking off? I told him, yeah, I don't plan on leaving. <laughs> that Let's just put it that way. That, that should answer that question enough. Question five. What is your dream job? You're looking at it. Okay, that well, that was a simple response to a question that I don't... It seems kind of simplistic, but complicated at the same time. But that does end up... That does end that category of types of questions. The next one is travel. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, so a lot of these are going to kind of have a... I'm going to have a hard time giving any type of answer. But the first question in this category is, what countries have you traveled to? Aside from the one I live in, none. I've never really traveled outside the States before. Never really considered it either. I mean, that's not entirely true. I have considered it a couple times, but never really, even even if I was able to, I would never really act on it. Just knowing me, I'd consider it, and then it'd be dropped because jobs, family, all that fun stuff, so... Mm. Okay. With that answered, question two is, what was your biggest experience of culture shock? Now, the full question does add in another country, but as I said, I've not been outside this country, so I'm not going to include that, just to, you know, add a little bit of ideals to the question, I guess. My biggest experience of culture shock actually came from a, no surprise to many people who know me, but from a, a video game called Persona 3. Um, the reason for this is because star in that franchise, there are only five of them with some like sequels, some remake versions with additional content, but the third one is when they started adding real-life situations more than the previous two, which included questions about you know, real-life circumstances. Um, like, small example, uh, since, it's, since Persona is a Japanese game, they, it was a lot of cultural... Japanese culture. Cultural Japanese culture. Great. Great English thing. Um, but as I went through like the different questions, I each one I found more interesting than the last kind of thing. So that's probably the biggest culture shock I've really ever had. It's not much, but it is something. Question three. Where in the world would you love to live most and why? Anywhere, anywhere where there's a lot of green lush, quite frankly. I'm not particularly picky, but like a couple of places I've heard and from YouTube footage, I guess, that I've seen. Specific locations in like Ireland or Iceland um, have a lot of green lush in them, that kind of stuff. A lot of farms, stuff like that. Uh, but I, I guess places like that. It's I, I don't know. I've always had kind of a intrigued mindset for scenery, so that I guess that's the best reason for it. Okay, question number four in this category. How does your home country compare to here? 
How does my home country compare to my home country? Does that answer your question? <laughs> that, that can't exactly be answered. Okay, next one. What's the worst thing that's happened to you while traveling? Hmm, nothing really. Maybe an argument or two, but that's probably the most. And when I say argument, I'm not talking about, like, screaming each other's heads off or anything. I just mean, like, disagreements to an extent that nobody wanted. I've not really had many issues with traveling before. Then again, I don't do it very often, so there is that, too. Next question. Question number six. Have you ever traveled by yourself? I mean, not really. I would prefer not to anyway. Even if I was given the opportunity to do it, I still wouldn't take it. I'd prefer to go with someone else. I always have. So, well, I mean, there's kind of a bland answer to a question like that, but it's just my opinion on that matter. Okay, question seven of this category. Holy crap, this category has a lot of questions. This is the last question of this category, though. Question seven. Do you speak any other language? You'll not say. Oh, wait, sorry, no. I don't know. <laughs> if that answers your question, then sure. Okay, so the next category for this is entertainment. As in, like, movies, TV shows, books, stuff like that. Question number one in that category is, what's your favorite movie or TV show? Oof. That's a tough one, because I have several favorites just based off the years and based off the categories. Like, for example, if you were to say, what's your favorite movie or show, I'd be like, I have way too many. You're going to have to be more specific. Now, if you were to say, what is your favorite movie, not TV show, but movie from the 1980s, I would say, that's easy. Star Wars. No, they didn't call it A New Hope back then. It was literally just called Star Wars. So, there are way too many to really keep track of for me to give a straightforward answer to that one, but there's kind of an idea of what you're looking for. I guess if you were to say, like, modern uh, film whether TV show or movie. I guess I could say probably the Avengers. I mean, I'm a big Marvel fan. I've never really been... I'm That whole DC versus Marvel controversy, which I know I've talked about on this channel in the past, when it comes to movies specifically, Marvel for the win for me. And yeah, the Avengers definitely takes the cake for me. Anyway, next question was, which movie, book, show, or show are you ashamed to admit you love? None that come to mind. I mean, I don't really watch a lot of TV shows. Last time I read a book was, uh, I, I, I didn't even finish it. Not because I was ashamed of reading it or anything. I just got sidetracked by a lot of situations going on, and I never really got through it. I mean, if I were to pick something, I guess Twilight, specifically the book, I enjoyed, like, the story behind it, which, but I guess it's because of how bad I thought the movie was that if, if I were to say I was embarrassed by it or something, that the movie would be the reason, but I'm not really so much the case. Next question for that is... Question number three for that category is, which movie are you most looking forward to being released? Uh, well, as of the time of this recording, for me specifically, it would be the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie. I, lo like, I, I love the fact that when that the first one came out, the... It, 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 it was really well. It was really well thought through. It was you could definitely tell a lot of love went into it, and it was like its own separate universe. But it didn't destroy uh, the game franchise from way back in the day. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what possibilities have to play for that one. So I, I'd say that one. Um, what kind of books do you usually read? 
fantasy. That's fiction fantasy, kind of a mash of both. Generally, like the most recent book I started reading was kind of a, when I read it, the the vibe I got off of it was kind of like a mix. Uh, it, it was like a an assassin's version of, um, I actually forget, Robin Hood. I almost forgot his name for a moment there. Um, but yeah, it's like an assassin version of Robin Hood. I actually, I, I forget what the book is actually called, though. My sister has read all of the books in that series, and I was kind of surprised by it, but at the same time, she has similar tastes that I do in that front. To a degree, but still. Anyway, next question says, what kind of music are you into right now? That one really is a mix-up. I mean, I, I, I bounce from, like, techno trance to instrumental to classic rock to like you name the category i'll have a song from that category that i like and that's always been the case that is that's one thing that's never changed about me and never will either so that's kind of a complicated question <laughs> um but either way still i hope that answer suffices Question number six in this category is, what concerts have you been to? Honestly, the only concert I've ever been to that I can think of is a Philip Phillips concert, and that was a while ago. That was with my family, like, I don't even remember how long ago it was. Question number seven, I think. Two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Question number seven. What movies have you watched more than once? Pretty much every single movie I've ever seen. Every movie I've ever seen, I have seen more than one time. Beetlejuice, from Beetlejuice to, as I said earlier, the Avengers, the, the MCU movies, from The Labyrinth to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I know these are random, but they're titles I've seen, and I've seen them way too many times to count. It's that, that kind of thing. If I've seen it, I've seen it multiple times. Uh, let's see. Okay, actually there's one more question in this category. Do you play video games? Wait two hours and you'll find out. Okay, now there's like, the next category is actually under food and cooking. Hmm. There aren't too many uh, questions in this one. Looks like there's only four. First one is, talk, well, actually, it's a suggestion. It's stating to talk about a recent restaurant you went to. Actually, I just literally got home from going to Subway with Amber. So <laughs> there you go. Because she's working four more, five more days. Oh, let's see. Uh, if you guys couldn't hear uh, Pink Fox, she was just saying that she was, as of this recording, she'd be working there for like five more days, and that's about it. But she's going to be, well, less than that. Either way around, she's very close to leaving. So, there's that. Doesn't mean I'm going to stop going there for food, but you know. <laughs> what type of cooking do they do at Do they? What kind of question is this? I'm going to rephrase this. Okay, the second question in the category is, what type of cooking do you do at home? Not very much. <laughs> it's usually... I'm yeah. It's... Pink Fox says she does the cooking. Maybe most for most part that's true, but it's just more more. The fact of the matter is, most of the time we don't do cooking. We just kind of take we we just take out or something. Just because we're usually exhausted at, by the end of the day, regardless. Um. Next question, kind of, is a follow up to that. Do you usually cook food from a specific culture? Never really thought of that before. Sure, the culture of current people in America culture. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've never really thought about that before. Those who know much more about food and cooking would know more about this, but I don't know jack crap on that. Okay, the last question in this category, though, is do you follow any specific diet? I don't. Mm, at least... And I don't really plan on it or anything. Maybe at some point in the distant future it might end up happening, and if that's the case, I'm unaware of it. But 
As of right now, no. I don't have any kind of diet I follow. Okay. The next category is past experiences. Oh boy. <sighs> Let's see if any. Okay, so one of the top, one of the, the first question is where did you grow up? I grew up in all over the place. Arizona, a lot of it's like kind of the southwestern side of the U.S. Arizona, Nevada, Utah, those three states, it was like bouncing between all over the place in those. Mainly Arizona and Utah, though. Okay, question number two in that category is what were you like as a kid? I've actually talked about this scatteredly across the channel, I think. I was kind of rebellious at times, I'll be, I, I was... I've always been kind of an introvert, extrovert to a degree, depending on the day it was one or it was the other, but I never was always the best behavior-wise, and as far as, like, I guess the best way to describe me as a kid was I, I, I looked for a lot of attention. Was it intentional? No, but when you look at the evidence, you could definitely tell the younger me was <laughs> kind of a hog, like a camera hog. Well, that's probably the best way to describe me as a kid. Okay. Question number three on that category is, what did you want to be when you grew up? As of back then, it was kind of scattered between musician, author, like, um, art, like just a bunch of different art types, whether it's, if it has to do with creativity, it came across my mind at a point. So... There were just so many different things that there was never one set goal. The next question, the follow-up question after that says, what were your past jobs like? Fast food. If you have any idea what fast food is like, then you already know what it was like. Up until the current job I have, it's always been fast food and retail. So that pretty much says enough on that front. Next question. Question number one, two, three, four, five. Do you have any siblings? Actually, yes, and they've both appeared on this channel at points. One of each, a sister and a brother. Um, the last question in this category is find out if you two shared any, if you three shared any common interests as kids. My sister and I definitely did. Um, for like the longest time, we still do. My brother shares a lot of these interests with us, but he does have some, a, a few more differences than we do. From what I've noticed, at least. Time may have changed that, I don't know, but it definitely was the case back then. Okay, so next category is present observations. There are five questions to this one, so let's get started. Question one. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm reading this properly. So, so this is, because this is observational, this one's kind of hard to decipher. Um, it kind of talks about, like, if you guys were talking with me in person, it'd be easier to go through these, but basically... Why am I here now? Let's just put it that way. Why are you here now? <laughs> that kind of thing is basically what the first one is. I'm here because I want to be. I'm here to answer a bunch of, like, 50 questions, and we are at question 36 out of 50. That's my reason, I guess, because I chose to do it. Okay. Now it's, the next thing is basically telling me to make a comment about something you're wearing. You you look great today. Whatever you're wearing, you look fantastic. That feels so weird to do, but hey, I'm betting it's always wanted to be heard. A compliment is always wanting to be heard. So yeah, you look great today. What other people are nearby? Pink Fox. <laughs> that's, that's about it. Now Pink Fox is throwing pills at me. No, he's hitting you with them. Eh, fair. And the pillowcase fell off. 
Okay. Well. Okay. Number question number. Uh, yeah. Okay. This one's actually a question. Number four. Is there anything new, unusual, or different about your own environment? Aside from this beauty leaning over my shoulder? Not really. Not yet. <laughs> there will be. In a few months, there will be. So get ready for that. We'll be moving and we'll yep. be getting married in a couple of months. Definitely looking forward to that one. Me too. Both baby. of them. Me too. Okay, let's see. Okay. Although I wouldn't call it, I would just call that different. Not really unusual or anything. Or yeah, <laughs> it says unusual or different. I know that's why I'm saying different and not unusual. You are unusual. I know. Okay, the last one, the last statement slash question in this category. Put more attention into your physical senses. Is there music playing? No, except for the breathing from this one in my ear. That, wow, that was warm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess I have warm breath because I my body temperature is twice as hot as a normal person. That is true. That's something I'm surprised you haven't talked about yet. Anyway. Because I'm all positive. So some yeah. smell that you didn't notice before now. Are you eating something? No, but I did just finish eating something recently. You just had dinner. The time. Yeah. I mean, we just talked about this in an earlier question. What can you feel touching your skin? Me. I mean, I'm touching his skin. Yeah. And his hand, which is his skin. So there's that one. Yeah, that's that was interesting for number 40. All what are right. we doing this weekend? Going to my parents. It's actually, yeah, so it's actually her mom's birthday uh, this weekend, and we were going to go weekend. celebrate with her. That's what I said. Well, still. Oh, yeah. She has a lot to learn about this channel. That's why I was whispering. Oh, my gosh. Okay, anyway, regardless, technically speaking, by the time this video has come out... It will be my mom's birthday. So yeah, actually, wish my it, mom a happy birthday. It would be bypassed. Still. Regardless. See, that that's ha why I was saying. Wish her a happy belated birthday for all we care. Just wish her a happy birthday. She'll be happy. Yeah. And yeah, to her, well, if you see this, happy birthday, yeah, that, Mama! That we love you. <laughs> she beat me to the wording on that one. Okay, so number forty-two or two for this category, I guess. What local events are you looking forward to? I don't even I don't know if I have any local events. Uh oh, wait the the. In, in internet, do you do you know what we're what problems are going on right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are no events. Yeah. Except for maybe online. COVID. Yeah, that little bugger. Anyway, okay. Would you next. prefer to live in a city or on a farm? I just answered this. <laughs> farm all the way between the two. I grew up on a farm, so for me, city. Yeah. Actually, no, farm, because I love horses. Farm for me just because of the scenery. So we have different reasons, but still. Anyway, you'll be answering these questions later on. No, I'll be answering the last <laughs> too one. With you. Too late. You already missed, like, over half of them. So. Too bad, so sad. Fine, go ahead and re answer them later, I guess. What's your main goal right now? There are a lot of them. A lot. That's really all I got to say about that one. Human relations. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. The last, okay, so the last qu six questions are involving that. Talk about men or what? What the hell? What the hell? I'm a man. She's a woman. I'm a rock. She's a stick. No, <laughs> I'm I'm paper. At this point, same difference. That's a di <laughs> we're skipping that one. That one isn't even. I mean, you could talk about that in your own video if you want, but I'm skipping that one. Ask. Okay, ask what. Okay, I'm going to ask you this because I got none, but what are your friends like? Have you met me? <laughs> no. When I was in I mean, high school, I would dance on I know. picnic tables. That's I know. what they're like. <laughs> I have no friends, so I had to ask someone else. I mean, <laughs> it's saying ask them. The thing is saying ask them. Them has to be her. 
What are your friends like? Okay. Yes. Okay. Has she had with the same friends most of life of the... Okay. Let's put it this way. I've had one of my best friends that I'm still friends with too this very day. Yes, we've had a couple falling outs, but we've made up in the end. Me and her have been very close since I was a freshman in high school in RTC. Actually, you know what? I, I retract what I said. You walked in at like the perfect time because all these are pretty much having me directed towards someone else. Ask about their family. I already know about my her family. My family's crazy. <laughs> They're loco. Loco moco. Yeah, I kind of saw that one coming because we've, we've talked about this on our own before. <laughs> Okay, so talk about some interesting ideas you know from psychology. Oh, we do this all the time. This is just kind of a must. It, once you're with me, it's a must to talk about psychology. I, do, I took psychology <laughs> in high school anyway. So. Actually, I took one class in college. So that I took kind one of, in college and one in high school. So she took a little bit more than me, but I kind of had, ever since I started running the discussion rant videos, I've been kind of running them. You know, just kind of bringing psychology into my own life and just kind of learning as I go kind of thing. So, also, you knocked the mic. That I didn't probably, mean to. That probably made a... <laughs> you're making loud noises, probably. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I'm trying to move my hair. It's okay. Anyway, I move my head, otherwise you're going to hurt your ear. What do you believe is true that most people would disagree with you on? Oh, boy, there's a lot of it. That's... That right there, this last question, this last question is why I don't like talking about religion or, um... Medical stuff. No, medical... Science. No. The debates... Controversial stuff. No, I talk about controversies, too. What am I thinking of? Political elections? Thank you. Yes. Politics? Yeah. That question right there. That is why I hate talking about religion and politics. I did it once, but it was me and about me and not much more. And it was religion specifically and just my ideals on a moral standpoint. And it was more of a comparison thing than anything else. Just taking my morals and say, these ones, is that what compares to, like that kind of thing. Um, if it was anything else, then it was very lighthearted and very considerate of people's ideals or at least i tried to be but either way that's all 50 questions on that so this one might jump in and do her own at a point since she missed all the Fun all ones. but like maybe three um self-answered questions but the rest of them she jumped in and were pretty much have to include somebody Anyways, gonna head off. That was a fun 33-minute <laughs> video of answering 50 statements and questions. I thought I, I, I thought you were tapping the thing. So possibly tomorrow expect her to respond um, to the same 50 questions and statements. I'll probably jump in near the end to do the same thing she did, and we'll go from there. But in the meantime, thanks for tuning into this video, everyone. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button. And so far, you can't see it anymore. I can't believe I just flicked the microphone stand thing. <laughs> if you really like this kind of stuff, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, the whole crew, slowly but surely, will be start getting involved in more and more videos as time goes on. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, definitely do the things that I just listed. Check out the links on the side of the sides of my head and. Let's be honest, it's probably right above hers right now, or it'll be right over, depending on where she is at the moment. But want to check out more discussion rants, or, sorry, about me videos, not discussion rant, about me kind of things. Click the link on this side. Not quite floating your boat? Check the link on the other side where YouTube will give you an idea of what you may enjoy on this channel. It, neither are quite what you're looking for. Check out the channel itself. You'll find over a thousand videos as of um this upload and hopefully one of them floats your boat in the meantime as pink fox is putting on her ears i this conductor is gonna head off thanks again for tuning into this uh episode of about this about me episode guys and we all hope to see you guys in another one bye that <laughs> oh my gosh ears <laughs>